In the assembly of Indra, there was a Gandharva by name Kronacha. Since he was beautiful, he was proud of himself. One day in the palace of Indra, when he was passing by, He saw a sage. The sage was in deep meditation. <laughs> Kronika <laughs> laughed at him because he was short. Hey shorty, how come you're so small, funny guy? The sage was in deep meditation and did not hear the remarks. How can you move around with these tiny legs, huh? The sage did not hear anything. Mocking at the sage, Kroncha went close to him. He accidentally stamped on the hand of the sage. Oh. The sage became conscious of his surroundings now. He was able to see that the Gandharva was poking fun at him. You arrogant monster! Kroncha was shocked. I curse you that you will become a Muslim today. Kroncha never expected the pygmy of a sage to have the power of cursing him. But here he was just about to be made a mouse. He pleaded with the sage. Dear sage, please forgive me. Kroncha falls at the feet of the sage. But the sage was not in a position to take back the curse. I can give you your blessing. You will become the vehicle of Lord Ganesh. Despite the curse, making him a mouse. Kroncha was happy that he was becoming the vehicle of Lord Ganesh. Since Kroncha was large when he became a mouse, he was the biggest mouse anywhere. When he moved around, He stamped innocent people and harmed the sages. <laughs> they cursed me to become a mouse. Now look how they suffer. <laughs> Once two sages were in deep meditation. Kroncha lifted them with his paws. Ah, ah. Kroncha drops them back. The sages fall down. Is there no end to the atrocities of this accursed creature? The sages approached Lord Shiva. My lord, please put an end to the atrocities of Krancha. Krancha was God, but he became like this due to your curse. Don't worry, he has received a boon that he will become the vehicle of Ganesh. When will it happen, my lord? You approach Lord Ganesh. He will sort out the problem for you. The sages approached Lord Ganesh. Little Ganesh, please put an end to the atrocities of Krancha. He drags out heaven, we are asleep. He lifts us when we are in deep contemplation. 
We are so scared of him. Little Ganesh, you are our savior. Don't worry. I will take care. You can live in peace. Ganesh went in search of Kroncha. He saw Kroncha uprooting trees and throwing them at the sages. The sages start running. Kroncha! Kroncha turns back and sees Ganesh. On seeing Ganesh, he starts running. Ganesh casts his nose. A bright light emanates from the robe and makes the whole place bright. The rope fastens on the nose of Kroncha. In a moment, Kroncha is reduced to the normal size of a mouse. Ganesh pulls the rope. And Kroncha comes near Ganesh. My lord, I am happy now. The time to serve you has come. Ganesh touched him and blessed him. From that day, Kroncha became the vehicle of Lord Ganesh. Once there was a king. He had a beautiful queen called Kanya. They were ardent worshippers of Lord Ganesh. They had a son by name Janam. Janam was an ardent worshipper of Lord Shiva. One day, the sun was entering the horizon and Janam was in deep meditation. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Pleased with this dedication, Lord Shiva appeared before Jana. Jana, I am pleased with you. I bless you with abundant strength. Jana fell at the feet of Lord Shiva. My Lord, I am blessed by your presence. Lord Shiva blessed him and disappeared. One day, when Janav was in the forest hunting, he came across the hermitage of a sage. Let me enter the ashram and see to who it belongs. Out of curiosity, Prince Janam went into the hermitage. Welcome, young man. Who are you? I am Prince Janav, son of King Rana and Queen Kanya. Do come inside and refresh yourself. Janam went inside. And the sage gave him fruits and milk. Thank you, sage. Suddenly, Janav's eyes were attracted by an object which glittered like a diamond. 
Sage, what is that glittering object? That is an exclusive gemstone. Janam was even more curious and wished to have a close look. Janam went closer and observed the gem. The gem was given to me by the kings of gods Indra. Marvelous! This is a magical gem which can provide food for thousands of people once we rub it. Wow! Thousands of people? Prince Janam was much enamored by the magical powers of the gem. This looks fascinating! The stone captivated his mind so much that he made a strange proposal to the sage. Respected sage, can I ask you something? The sage looked confused. Yes, Prince. Please let me know your wish. Can I have this gem? The sage was shocked to hear this. But as I told you, this is a gift to me from Lord Indra. You can now give it as a gift to me. Gifts should be given without being sought for. Nothing should be taken by force. Prince, you should be reasonable in your expectations. But this refusal did not affect Prince Janav at all. I have already made up my mind to acquire this magical gem by fair or foul means. <laughs> Hearing this, the sage was shocked. Prince, you should guard yourself from such mean thoughts and actions. You are the future king. But Prince Janav had already made up his mind. If you do not give the gem to me, I will have it by force. The sage did not show any signs of fear at this warning. Pushing the sage down, Jana took the gem. He started running. Stop, you thief! This action will ruin you! Prince Jana took away the gem by force. The sage started to pray. Oh God, Ganesha, please save me! Tears flowed from his eyes. The sage started meditating on Lord Ganesh. Little Ganesh appeared before him. Sage, I'm here. Stop worrying. Lord, I know your kindness. Prince Jana has taken away the gem by force. Don't worry, the gem will be restored to you. Giving this assurance, Ganesha disappeared. I am at peace now. Lord Ganesh will take care of everything. After robbing the sage, Janam was peacefully sleeping in his palace. Ganesh appeared in his dream. Janam, you have committed a crime. Give back the jewel to the sage. I will not listen to anyone. The gem now belongs to me. But you caught hold of it by force. You robbed the sage. No, I will not give it. No, no. Janav woke up from his dream. Am I dreaming? Huh? Even if Ganesh comes to me, 
when I'm awake, I will not give the jewel. Janam went into another chamber. He should be taught a proper lesson. He thinks too much of himself because of his blessings from Lord Shiva. Little Ganesh sent his mouse to Janu. Janu was resting in his palace. The mouse hid under his pillow and started running. Janu had the shock of his life. He sprang up from his bed. Oh no! What is this? A mouse? What nonsense? He took out a stick and started to beat it. He chased it everywhere, but he was not able to locate the mouse. It climbed the cot. The wardrobe bit his clothes, upturned the bowl of fruits, ran inside the bedsheet, and finally ran on him. A silly rat! Oh no! How strange! Yes, sir. Jano jumped from one place to another trying to dodge the mouse. Finally, he screamed. Oh! Oh! After doing its work, the mouse disappeared. In minutes, it had wrought havoc all around. Janam sat on the cot. Hmm! The mouse ran away. It's Ganesha's work. I will never give him the gem. Let me face him. It's all Ganesha's work. I will send an army to the sage and teach him a lesson. The next day, a huge army battalion went to the sage's ashram. The soldiers pulled the sage and threw him to the ground. If he utters a word, Kill him! Ganesha, please save me. Ganesh appeared before him. Ha 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 ha! Finally you have come to collect the gem. Janav, if you don't give back the gem, you must be prepared to lose your life. Let me see that. Little Ganesh was furious. A great fight ensued between Janav and Ganesh. Finally, Janav fell down, vanquished. Ganesh put his foot on Janav's chest. Oh Lord, please forgive me. I will return the jewel. The jewel was returned to the sage. My great Lord, you have saved me from humiliation. Sage, you are blessed. Use the gem and serve food to the poor and needy. Never keep it idle. Janav fell at the feet of Ganesh. Janav, you cannot take anything by force. My Lord, I thought I could serve food for thousands of people with the power of the gem. That you cannot do on your own. You are the future king and you don't need magical germs for serving the subjects. Please forgive me, my lord. Lord Ganesh blesses him. Janav returned the gem to the sage. It is never too late to right a wrong. Lord Ganesh has the power to remove any obstacle 
that comes in the way of all true devotees. So, before starting any new project or work, it is good to pray to Lord Ganesh with all devotion for the successful completion of the task undertaken.